<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It is Monday, 17 February 2014. We are in the Oracle Broad Beach, apartment 2602, Tower 2. Tower 2. And this is in Gold Coast, Australia. And can I say good morning? Good morning. We are here to talk about your book that's already completed. How many more books are you writing? Six more books. Will one be about cooking? Yes. A lot of food, a lot of recipe. I'm getting hungry already. <laughs> Okay, well, um, you've been sending query letters to agents where? London and New York. Okay, and what is the hook from your query letter? Can you read it? Um, how is it possible that a child can survive war and genocide, later escape sick traffickers, this at the hand of her mother and the mistress of her father, a war hero? fight of rape and sexual assaults, a hellish life, only to be reborn miraculously, still full of hope into a new life full of love, life, sex and richness, but also into a world of injustice. Can she change this world? That sounds fascinating. Just hold the book up again so we can see. That's good. And that's also there on your... Yeah, that's a book cover. On your computer. Yeah. Okay. I see we have some nice view in the background. Looking west. We'll get that view later. Yeah. Now, we're going to have a little look. Let me show you around my apartments. On the west side. The west side view to the mountain and hinterland. The Rain River Convention Center and there's a north view. Um, this way. Here for the uh, center. There's a park. That's a walk of a walk. Here's a box where we used to live for seven years. Broad Beach on the park. Broad Beach on the park. And there's the uh, Casino Jupiter and the Pacific Fair, the town center, Robina. And here's some view southward. All the way. Okay, let's look at the view north. Look at the view north. That way. <laughs> That's good. You're doing well. Done for. You coming? Okay. Here's a view north, and this is it's a sea. Sea east. There's a wave again, and there's a north north east. There's air. The yellow building is there, and there's the uh, Tower 1 over there. Tower 1, and it's the uh, East View CV. So we're looking at the heart of Broad Beach. Heart of Broad Beach, yeah. And Convention Center, the river, casino, Pacific Fair. Now we're going to go and walk down to the south. This apartment's got a very long balcony, so we're going to take a long walk down towards the south. It's 180 degree view, sea view and city view. Where are we and now? Dinner. Now it's in my kitchen. There's a lot of food, a lot of uh, space here for uh, a lot of cooking. This is a beautiful big kitchen. This is the food prepared for a book later. And here's the I master chef. There's the master chef. And the most recipes are my recipes. I can tell you the food is fantastic because I eat all of it. <laughs> We're now walking slowly Passage south way. down the passageway. Passage in the bedroom. Towards the bedroom. There's the doctor's bathroom. 
I have my own bathroom. And the bathroom. <laughs> and here comes the office. She has her own bathroom. And then my um. I have my own fridge, mm. and she has her own fridge. Yeah, and there's her. He's uh, my bathroom over there. My closet. There's a bathroom. My huge closet. bathroom. Closet. closet. Uh, we we'll go slowly. Slowly. And here's the bedroom for me. Here's the bedroom space bed this, from this Italy. Wall mounted TV, the second TV. Here's this, the fish from when. Mordi. When we were in Mordi, they give us series, uh, fish series, marine life on Mordi 3, this one. We have three of them. And now we go out the balcony by the bedroom. Now it's the balcony there. And here's the view south to Burley and there's the Lorraine River and again there's a Pacific Fair front and uh, here's a view and this is a, a school and there's a beautiful um, view east the city. There. Okay look at the camera that's good. So there we have the author looking very good holding the book and this is Tower 2 of the Oracle. She wrote most of the book in Tower 1. There will be a separate video on that coming shortly. We are now going back towards the living area. Walk backwards, looking very good there. And what did the book weigh? Oh, two kilo. In fact, I have a pain in my muscle the last night oh. uh, from the carrying this uh, book for a video yesterday. That book weighs about two, two and a half kilo and is about Six. 650 pages when it's a book. Yeah, that's a book. Need two people to pick it up. Yeah. Um, now she's fun. walking back towards that beautiful blue lounge suite. Italian vase in the background. She's going to sit down. Well, she's standing up for a minute. Now she's going to sit down. And there she's looking very confident because soon she'll be an international the recognized author. My my life from now is going to be writing. I love writing. Writing is my passion. I always wanted to write since I was young. That's good. It's well, you got how many more books coming, you said? Five. Six, six books. Six books in total. And all memoir and real life story. And what about living in Australia? Has it, has it been all uh, happy for you? My living in Australia is not very good. I am not happy living here. I, am, I love the country, it's a beautiful country, but people are not very nice to us. They're not they're nice all, at all. They are not nice at all. They're racist and they're aggressive and they're all violent. And your book also talks about the uh, Khmer Rouge regime. Uh, yes, a lot of Khmer Rouge regimes and genocides. And particular genocide denial. And particularly uh, genocide denial. What is your one book called? My one book called God of Genocide. And who's the gods of genocide? America. The Americans will be shocked when they read your book, not so? Yes, they will. They will not be able to go anywhere. They'll be scared to go anywhere overseas. Yeah, no, because I'm going to reveal all. And debunk. Then debunk. All those enemy of people and the killing field, which all liar deniers. That's right. That's all going to be very, very interesting. This is all real life book and all truth, historically correct. And there are also going to be some some hot sex scenes in your book. Oh yes, hot sex scene. Even that Fifty Shades is nothing compared to this. Is real love, real life, real story. Yeah, and Fifty Shades is just perverse, oh. fictional sex. Yes. Yours is all real. It's a woman abuse. And it's all real, your sex. Yeah, and woman abuse and my book also has woman power, human empowerment. Right, woman empowerment. And your one book is called? A woman general. Woman general about women's rights. About women's rights. Like, like Angelina Jolly. Yeah. And... Um, That's fantastic. So also you become more, an activist 
and more activists, uh, but the women activists and human rights activists and and also girl you want to change. What about my girl, Cambodia girl? And you have Cambodia uh, girl, freedom fighters, freedom girl. Hindu girl, Hindu girl, Buddhist girl, Buddha girl. Christian girl, JC girl, and also mm -hmm. you've got Muslim girl too. You're also attacking the regime in Cambodia. Oh yes, the regime in Cambodia is. Hun Sen must go. Hun Sen must go. Dictator. Hun Sen must go. Hun Sen must go. Hun Sen must go. Dictator must go. Dictator. Well, this is giving. People want something new, something free. Absolutely. Well, this gives the uh, an idea about this author. It, is very passionate about things. Well, there's another book that is also dedicated to that. Sorry, is Cry My Beloved. Oh yes. Country. Cambodia. That's one of the six books. Cry My Beloved Country, Cambodia, a regime change. And they better watch out. You're coming. I'm coming. I will be the new Aung San Suu Kyi. New Aung San Suu Kyi. I have the love for my country. All right. I can see this is getting emotional. You can see she means what she says. Thank you. This has been a good interview. Thank and you. And we will say, can you say goodbye? Uh, yes. Um, and thank you for my editor and thank you for my video on youtube and a design website and blog all over there thank you okay well i'm the editor the poor husband <laughs> doing doing his best but we're making progress thank you that was great thank you darling. bye